Yeah, Dan, that's right. And what makes this trailer so unique is that it's a makeshift teenager's bedroom. And former law enforcement officers walk parents through the trailer, showing them potential signs of drug use in their teens. Inside this small trailer doesn't seem like much, but inside it's a makeshift teenager's bedroom designed to be a lesson in drug recognition. Dave and Carrie Paget would know they have more experience with drugs than most. Dave's is professional, nearly 30 years as a CHP drug recognition expert. But when you uh, arrest someone for being under the influence of drugs, you have to know exactly what schedule of drug it is. His wife's experience is personal. I lost a brother to addiction. He's been gone about eight years now. He was addicted off and on for the better part of 30 years. Together, they now travel the country in this trailer, sharing their experience. Why do they have it look bad? Because they're using it as a tourniquet. Showing signs of drug abuse in teens and the many potential hiding spots. The Monster Energy drink on top is a personal safe. The top screws off and there's some, some things hidden in there. When you look around this bedroom, you can literally hide drugs anywhere. But maybe the most unique item in this entire trailer is this water bottle, or at least it looks like just a water bottle. But if you twist this and you pop that off, you find out inside it's so much more. Dave saying all of the items able to be bought off the internet. The Bajet's arrival on the Central Coast is a timely one. A recent surge in opioid overdoses has led to a teenage girl dying in Seaside and another death here in San Benito County. My kids have known some of the kids that have been affected by it. Julie said the walkthrough in this trailer was eye-opening, and as a mother of four, the surge in overdoses has her terrified. You just got to talk about it. You got to open conversations, constantly bringing it up and, you know, doing the best that we can. Now, those deaths were related to fentanyl in some counterfeit opioid pills. The Monterey County Health Department says they have seen an uptick in those counterfeit pills.